10 English expressions with the word go from EspressoEnglish.net. Go is one of the most common verbs in English, and it's also used in a lot of idioms and expressions. I'll teach you 10 of them in today's lesson. Number 1. Go into overdrive. To go into overdrive means to start working very hard, more intensely than normal. For example, Every year around Christmas, my department goes into overdrive. There's just so much work to do. Number two, go off on a tangent. When someone is talking and then begins to talk about a subject that is outside the main topic, they are going off on a tangent. For example, he was giving a speech about politics, but he kept going off on tangents and telling stories about golf. Number three, go with the flow. Go with the flow has two definitions. One is to accept the events of life without fighting them. For example, you'll be a lot more relaxed if you just learn to go with the flow. The other definition of go with the flow is to do what other people are doing without resisting or arguing. For example, all my friends wanted to go to the beach instead of to the movies, so I decided to go with the flow. Number four, go out of your way. To go out of your way means to make a special and exceptional effort, usually to accomplish something or accommodate someone's needs. For example, I'm a vegetarian and I was worried I wouldn't be able to eat anything at the party. But Paula had prepared a couple vegetarian dishes just for me. She really went out of her way to make me feel welcome. Number five, go through the motions. Going through the motions means doing something because you are required or expected to do it, but not because you want to. If you go through the motions, you're not putting in much effort, you're just doing the minimum amount necessary. For example, he only has a week left at this job, so he's not working very hard. He's just going through the motions. Number six, go for broke. To go for broke means to give 100% of your effort and risk everything in order to achieve the result you want. For example, when starting a new business, you need to go for broke. Number seven, go haywire. When a machine or electronic system stops functioning correctly and starts functioning in a crazy or illogical way, this is called going haywire. For example, my computer's going haywire. I need to restart it. Number eight, go overboard. This means to go to an extreme and have too much of something, especially as a result of enthusiasm. For example, if you go to a birthday party and instead of a couple hundred balloons, there are 2,000 balloons in the room, you can say, I think they went a little overboard with the balloons. Number nine, a go-to guy or a go-to gal. This means a man or a woman who is reliable in a specific area and the person is frequently asked for help in that topic. For example, Amanda's our go-to gal for computer issues. Number 10. Go for it. Go for it means to take an opportunity or try to do something enthusiastically. We often use this phrase to encourage someone to do something. For example, if you have the chance to work abroad, you should go for it. You can learn more idioms and expressions like these inside the English Idioms course, which is available at EspressoEnglish.net. The lessons in the Idioms course will help you discover these expressions in context and practice with exercises. Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and look for the English Idioms course.